tough one tonight. Talk about what happened in that second half. Uh, we didn't come out um, like we came out in the first half. You know, uh, minus Holly Mershon or not, we came out flat. We didn't execute in the beginning, and we certainly didn't execute down the stretch. You know, I, you know, it's, I'm responsible. Um, you know, I did. We uh, uh, kind of catches up on you when you're backing up into things, and you know, and, and I know what we need to continue to work on. And you know, we didn't get the ball where we needed to down the stretch, and then we had some defensive assignments that were missed. Um, Adriana Thomas is a score in that second half. She led the team with 12 points in the first. Can you just talk about? What yeah, happened? I mean, our certainly we go obviously as she goes, and um, you know, Drexel plays good collective team defense, but I think we quit attacking a little bit at them. And played a little bit, played, it's not a little bit, we played passive in the start of the second half. Took a couple long threes, you know, I guess we thought we were feeling it or whatever we were, and it's just, it's painful. I'd rather be learning with a win, you know, to talk about the things that caused that demise, but we took a lot of really, you know, chippy bad shots in the start of the second half, and, um, you know, and it ended up kind of setting the tone of how we played offensively. You hold Mershon to nine points, but Taylor Wooden really covered your game from her. What did she do that was effective on the offense? Well, you know, I I, uh, I think Coach Maddy was telling me, and I remember the, at the eight minute mark, you know, she was like she had tw she had she had sixteen points at eight minute mark, and you know they're not a really good team that you can change a lot of defenses up with um, because they all shoot so well, uh, you know, zoning them. But we definitely we switched we switched some of the matchups there, and you know, but that's what good teams do. They you know other players step up and. You know, I, I felt like we kind of got caught off guard. Our post players got caught off guard. I and mean, we've all the credit to her. Uh, we have defended some pretty tough post players, and um, you know, we did not we did not adapt very well quickly on that change. Uh, Coach, you told me uh, before the game it's a very difficult environment to play in, especially in a close game down the stretch. How? Uh, quickly, are you able to put a loss like this behind you? And well, we have to. Back we have to, and I, and I kind of looked at the seniors um, after the game for that one. And I said, "You guys need to talk to these guys about that because this has got to be passed." And um, you know, the maturity you're not really test it right there because we don't have time to, you know, to to lick our wounds or anything here. You know, we had a, an, an awesome opportunity. This was a statement when, um, you know, we we are as good as we can be, and then obviously we are as bad at times as well. That hasn't changed. You know, from the momentum shift runs in the non-conference, you know, we've done, we, we know what's causing this demise here. We're not doing a great job. And let's just talk about that. That's rebounding. You know, I, I think we're being a little bit delusional with our rebounding. You know, I, I think, you know, we're waiting for these guys to rebound, and we're, we're not. And we're a much better rebounding team, but we have not shown it in conference at all. We're getting, we're getting crushed on the boards in conference. And people are just going to keep, you know, doing that and doing that to us until we stand firm and show that we obviously can't have rebounds. And their guards, their guards killed us. I mean, their guys were like six and four, but then every guard, um, you know, uh, Flanagan has like six or seven rebounds. The backup point guard, number four, has six rebounds. Um, not good, not good. You know, we have, we have better guards that can rebound or at least box out. Let their post get the hands on them. And their post players only have one, one or two offensive boards. It's not good. Flanagan's two threes. It seemed like it was exactly back to back in the second half. Like he, they gave him that 50 on 50 lead. I don't know if you remember those two plays, but. Uh, what do you I think remember happened? those two plays? No, no, exactly. They were running their will, and she did a flare. Mm -hmm. And the second, then they tried to do it again, and the third time she curled off of it. Um, you know, smart by, by Denise. Uh, I know that she's isolated. You know, our players at certain times aren't really key calls, and she isolated. That was a quick call isolation on AO. And uh, you know they're way on that far end down there, and gotta make reads. So we gotta stay with our concepts, um, stay with the concepts, and uh, we didn't. And that's all we preached all week is about staying with our concepts. You know the game's gonna come down to a quick read that you have to do on the fly, and we didn't answer that.